Hello everybody, I have a video on profit maximizing with monopolies. We're going to look at one firm's quantity decision and then the price and measure their profit based on this demand curve, which is linear, A minus B, Q, and this cost curve, which I decided to make quadratic. Now, the exact functions here are so that I can give you a nice, simple example but the steps that I will go through are such that you can use it with any sort of price function, any sort of cost function. It'll all still be the same. So how do I maximize profit? Well, let's see, first we need to define profit. Profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. Well, that means profit is equal to price times quantity minus C of Q which means in this example, uh, profit is equal to A minus BQ, that's my P, times Q minus C of Q. Ooh, but let's be more specific on the minus C of Q. All right, so this line is true no matter what where P is some function of Q, and this line is true for this specific example. All right, so let's get rid of all that stuff and keep this looking as simple as possible. So how do we maximize profit? Whether it's this specific example or if you wanna do it with whatever your P times Q minus C of Q is. Uh, to maximize profit, with respect to Q, I'm going to take a first order condition. Derivative of profit with respect to Q is equal to something. So I gotta break this up into pieces. It'll help me out here. I'm gonna look at this term first. My product rule, whoops, is A minus BQ times one plus minus B times Q. And then let's see, for my second term, let's see, now I'm gonna be looking at all of this stuff. That's minus E minus two F Q. And I'm going to take that derivative and I, in order to maximize profit, I set that derivative equal to zero. Now, let's simplify this equation real quick. This gives me a minus bq minus bq is a minus 2bq. And that's going to be equal to e plus 2fq. Now, one important note here. This thing equals that thing. Uh, if you if you took a class where we didn't have calculus, or even in your principles class, you probably saw this written a lot. Marginal revenue equals marginal cost. That's what we have here. The derivative of our total revenue is marginal revenue. And the derivative of our total cost is marginal cost. Not only that, but we've got something else that I always tell my students about. I always tell them that if the line is straight, your marginal revenue curve is the demand curve, but with twice the slope. Well, here's your demand curve. I guess it's an inverse demand curve, but you get the idea. And here it is with twice the slope. That comes because of this product rule. And it will always happen with a linear slope. So that's kind of cool. I always tell my students like, hey, if you want to have, if you want to figure out why it's always double, come talk to me. I'll show you the calculus. None of them ever did. Go figure. It's not what keeps them awake at night. But if it was keeping you awake at night, you're welcome. All right, and now we can solve for Q. So let's see. That's a minus e is equal to two. Actually, two b plus f times Q means a minus e over 2 b plus f equals q star. That is the profit maximizing q. 
Now, we can solve for the profit maximizing P by substituting this into our demand curve. So P star is, actually I guess let me give some fanfare to that. There we go, that's important. P star is equal to A minus B Q star equals A minus B minus E over two P plus F is that, which I'm gonna skip a little bit of algebra here. One over two B plus F times A B plus two A F plus E B. That's your P star. So we'll highlight that because that's important too. Alrighty. We solve for Q and P. That's the hardest part. We've shown what the monopoly wants to do. Now to solve for profit, which is sort of the last thing I'm gonna ask anyone to do most of the time, profit is equal to P star times Q star minus C of Q star. Well, that's, uh, I don't wanna solve the whole thing. You can substitute it if you want to. That's A minus B Q star times Q star minus D minus E Q star minus F Q star squared. Now, let's see, I also, in a lot of my other videos and with some of my other students, I will give profit differently, where I'll say it's equal to Q star times price minus average total cost. That's true too. Just be careful when you define your average total cost. Average total cost is equal to your cost function. divided by Q. In this case, that's D plus EQ star plus FQ star squared. And all of that is divided by Q star. So there's profit. There's another version of profit. You can even do it this way if you want to. I'm not too worried about it. So I hope that's helpful. Shows how a monopolist makes their decision. As I said, you could leave it more general with different price functions. You're still gonna have to do your choose Q by setting the derivative equal to zero. Product rule is still gonna happen. Everything else is still gonna happen. Hope it's helpful. If not, too bad. Good luck, you guys. Happy econing.